What's going on, people? Five Sports Talk back at it to talk sports. And today I'm going to be previewing the AFC Championship game between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. So let's get started. I'm not going to give you my pick right away. I'll save that for the end. But these are two teams that are complete polar opposites of each other. I mean, on one side you got Tom Brady, arguably the best quarterback in the game, with the best receiving core, arguably, in the NFL, easily the best tight end core, with Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez. I mean, those two guys are virtually unstoppable. And then, oh, let's just throw in Wes Welker in the mix, and Deion Branch and those boys. On the other side, you got the defense of the decade, the Baltimore Ravens, with Ray Lewis, Terrell Suggs, Ed Reed, and countless other defensive players that are going to be in the Hall of Fame when they hang it up. The X factors for these two teams, let's start with the Baltimore Ravens. It's going to be Joe Flacco. The game that Joe Flacco has will determine if the Baltimore Ravens will win. Actually, let me correct that. The game will be decided on who gets the ball more, Joe Flacco or Ray Rice. And I know Joe Flacco is the quarterback, but if Ray Rice doesn't have 25 plus carries, the Baltimore Ravens have no shot in this game. And I say no shot because they can't keep up with New England scoring, and there is no way, as good as Baltimore Stevens is, they are holding New England to less than 20 points. It just won't happen. New England's too talented. Tom Brady is too good, and he is too unstoppable. But I think Joe Flacco, he'll have a decent game, but they need to feed the beast. Give the ball to Ray Rice and let it hammer him down the throats of the New England defense, which has looked pretty good against the Broncos. They forced a lot of fumbles and uh, pressured Tim Tebow a lot. Now, granted, the Broncos don't have much of a passing game, and you know Joe Flacco's got an arm, but still, it doesn't mean that they can't put pressure on Joe Flacco. So you feed the ball to Ray Rice, get him a healthy dose of touches. You let Joe Flacco throw a couple times. I mean, he had two touchdowns last game, and he didn't throw any interceptions. That, that's what you need from Joe Flacco. You don't need 400-plus yards and six touchdowns. You just need him to manage the game, as sad as that sounds for someone of Joe, Cal Joe Flacco's uh, talent caliber. But still... On the flip side, with New England, the X factor has obviously got to be the defense. If the defense shows up, and they did last week against the Broncos in a complete hammering and destroying of the Denver Broncos. I mean, that was an embarrassment. I turned the game off in the third quarter. I don't know about you guys, but that's not the point. I digress. If the New England defense shows up, you know, Ninkovich and Wentz Fork and all those boys, and they're able to put pressure on Flacco, and they're able to stop the run, and their pass rush is able to get to Flacco, then the Patriots should handily win this game. Because you know what you're getting from Tom Brady. You know what you're getting from Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez. I mean, Aaron Hernandez is a dual threat now. You've got him catching passes, and last week against Denver, he was getting the ball in the backfield. He was carrying the ball like a back. Are you kidding me? That's just too unstoppable. They're really spoiled up there in New England. That's how good that offense is. But if the defense shows up and they're able to force some turnovers, you know, pick off Flacco a couple times, stop Ray Rice of the line, line of scrimmage, then Tom Brady can win you the game. All he needs the defense to do is just manage it. So there you have it. That's the preview. I believe, as you can probably already tell, I'm leaning towards New England, and I, I will probably pick them. And I have the game somewhere in the 30s. I will say it's going to be 31 to 24 New England. Tom Brady's probably going to throw just a little over 300 yards with two inter uh, excuse me, two interceptions. So you know Tom Brady ain't going to throw any interceptions. Two touchdowns, and Rob Gronkowski is going to be a virtual unstoppable. Uh, you know Ray Rice will probably get 25 plus carries. But I have a feeling Joe Flacco is going to throw the ball a lot too. But anyways, I have New England winning this game. What do you guys think? Thoughts, comments, subscribe down below. And I will check with you guys later.